And welcome back. And now we're along with Chris Shelton of Rock Ministries. And he, he's here to talk about the Call to Honor Rally coming up this Saturday in St. Francis, Arkansas. And Chris, it's good to have you back with us. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate all your support. It's good to be here. Sure. And the Call to Honor Rally is coming up this Saturday. And it's going to be in St. Francis, Arkansas. And it's been a long time coming. A lot of preparation going leading up to this point. So uh, looking forward to a, a good experience come Saturday. And it's open to everybody to come and enjoy. Yeah, this is non-denominational. Uh, it's bipartisan. Uh, this is an opportunity for us all to get together and pray for America. Uh, this is actually our third event. We did our first one in Paragould and our second one down in Jonesboro. And uh, Channel 8 News came out and covered that. If somebody wants to see it, it's on our website, calltohonor.org. They can see a clip from it. Uh, but basically what we want to do is we want to get together and we want to uh, praise God and we want to be praying for America and we want to be praying for families and uh, the economy and our political leadership and the military and law enforcement and schools. I, uh, you know, as you know, I spent 10 years working in Child Protective Services, and before that I was an agent out in Washington, D.C., and I was actually very fortunate to be at Stand in the Gap back in 1997, where over a million men got together and prayed for this nation. And, and I just think we're at a point where we really need to get together, and we need to come together in unity. You know, we need to stop fighting about the little stuff and come together on the big things and do what's important. And I think what's important is getting families back together, because if we get families back together, we can heal our communities and we can heal our country. Sure. And uh, this will be all Saturday, the 23rd at the Oasis Church parking lot in St. Francis. And uh, for the past few months, we've had the program Call to Honor, uh, which features you and other uh, people around Northeast Arkansas for the first few shows. So people might have an idea of uh, kind of what it's going to encompass if you watch the shows. And we, I know in the, the show that's currently airing with Trent Grimes, the pastor of Oasis Church, you all talk about the rally and just everything that's going to go along with that. So uh, if you've seen the programs, you'll have an idea of what's going to take place and uh, just what's going, what's all going to go on. So uh, hopefully people's watched the show. I know people's uh, commented on it and had some good comments, so that's good. So uh, it's a good opportunity to get out there and share the share the world with people. And this isn't about Oasis Church. Matter of fact, we're doing it out in the parking lot because we don't want think, people thinking this is about a specific church. This is an opportunity for us all to get together and uh, like I say, just uh, say a lot of prayers. These prayers are recommended by the Nationalist uh, Day of Prayer. Uh, so these are non-denominational prayers. And uh, uh, just it's just a matter of us all coming together. You know, if we can all concentrate on what's important and what we can agree on, we can, we can heal a lot of problems out there. But, you know, today, actually, uh, this is the first time in our nation's history when we now have more kids being born out of wedlock than in. Uh, we know that a third of those homes, there's not going to be any, uh, any father uh, in, in, uh, involvement at all in homes. And when we have that, we know there's going to be a higher problem of drugs and premarital sex and a uh, problem with the law and, and problems at school. So, you know, the most important thing we can do is get people together. And uh, the most important way we can do that is get the churches together, if we can all come together in unity. And now I'm very grateful that we have a number of pastors that are going to be coming out and they're going to be saying the different prayers. And uh, the Oasis Church uh, worship team, very anointed, they're going to be performing. Uh, we've got some other pastors going to be coming out, uh, going to be performing. And uh, actually, I'm pretty excited. We got Hope Johnson, uh, who's now married. And I, I don't remember her married name right now. I apologize. But anybody from Northeast Arkansas is going to know Hope Johnson. And if you're not from Northeast Arkansas, you have to look her name up because uh, there's a contract. I can't say why they'd recognize her right away, but they would. So we're really excited about having her in performing as well. And we're very grateful. We've had a lot of support from our press and from our, uh, our, our state politicians and reps. So we appreciate that, too. Uh, that says a lot about them, that they're willing to come out and do something like this. Sure. And I, I like the message you bring. It's, you know, of course, there's a lot of, you know, political angst when it comes to national and probably even state in a lot of ways. But, you know, this is something local that people can really rally towards, get the kids involved and just come up with local solutions to our, you know, our day to day problems. And, you know, that's that's a good way to go about it. You know, we need to stop fighting. We need to we need to get together. And, you know, we've got good people in, in offices that want to do the right thing. We've got to support them, and uh, we've just got to treat each other with respect, and if we do that, we're going to come up with a lot of solutions. And, and actually, it's on my heart, and this is just something we've recently decided is uh, we'd really like to take this to, to our nation's capital uh, and be able to get together on a na national level and pray for America. So this is a start, and if people come out, they can help us get there, if they believe in it. Sure, and look forward to that this coming Saturday at St. Francis, Arkansas, at the Oasis Church. And it'll be held Saturday at 2 p.m. Do I have the time right? Yes. Okay, Saturday 2 p.m. 
And uh, for more information, you can go online, calltohonor.org. You got more information there. You can give Chris a call there. The number, 870-585-2784, correct? Yes. Okay. 565 <laughs> uh, 2784 five. Okay, I read it wrong. It shows wrong, I just read it wrong. 565-2784. And uh, look forward to coming on out. And if they're in our, northeast Arkansas, right there in the Boot Hill, uh, just make the journey over St. Francis River and have a good time there. St. Francis come this Saturday. We're going to be on hand for that. This weekend as well, uh, we're going to be there. It's going to be part of the December Call to Honor program, the program we've been airing here on YHC the past couple months. So you'll be able to be able to catch that. So it's better chance or better reason to come on out. So you can be on TV for the next month. Yeah, they come on out. They can say, hey, "I saw ourselves on TV." But uh, Tyler, we really appreciate you. Thank you very much, and you know, God bless for all you're doing out there in the community. Sure, we we do as much as we can. And we're I just glad I to be involved. Go ahead and say, you know, Ty, uh, I was just uh, told that Meadowlark Lemon is behind this. He, we we started heading out to D.C. He wants to be a part of this, but I know he really thinks very highly of you too. Well, I think highly of him, uh, among a lot of people. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just a privilege to to meet the man and actually know him. So it's certainly a privilege. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that down the road as well. So. Uh, Chris, anything you'd like to share with our viewers out there about just anything in particular about the rally? No, you know, come on out. Uh, we've been praying about the weather, and thank God it's supposed to be uh, sunny. It'll be a little crisp, but uh, it's a good part of the day to be out there. And uh, like I said, there's going to be good music and, and people being prayed over. So, And actually, we're going to have uh, people there that uh, if you've got something you want to be prayed over individually, we're going to have prayer counselors there that can pray over you. Um, so just come on out and have a good time. It's very informal. Uh, if you, can't, you know, we only expect it to last about an hour and a half, two hours tops. Uh, but come on out and uh, shake hands, get prayed over, help pray for you know the country, and be a part of making a difference. You know, everybody wants to complain about the problems, but you know, here's an opportunity to come out and make a difference. So, you know, let's let's get beyond all the differences, you know, political and denomination. Let's come together in unity and and let's you know the the, the Bible says you know my people you know they're called by my name. If they'll pray you know, we can turn this around. And I believe we can. And this is just our part of it. All right. We'll be looking forward to that this Saturday in St. Francis, Arkansas. Come on down. We'll have a good time. We'll be on hand there as well. And, Chris, we appreciate you stopping by once again, and we'll look forward to this Saturday. Thank you again, Tyler. God bless you. All right.